Hello Taurus, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. Welcome to my channel, welcome to another energy reading. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how your person views you. To book your private reading with me, all of that info is below. You can follow me on Instagram, that information is in the description box also. And not each and every Taurus watching me is gonna feel like this is their message and that's okay. All right, let's get right into how this person views you. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to how Taurus this person views Taurus in the current moment. How does this person that Taurus thinks of view Taurus? Please speak to me in reference to how. Okay. They feel that you're going through a difficult time right now. They can feel that you're disturbed, that something is bothering you. For some of you, they can feel that you don't trust them, that you think that they're up to no good and that's putting a lot of pressure on you. They also feel like you can't take this anymore when it comes to them, that you're putting your foot down and this is something that could be permanent. And that because it seems so tough for you, as you can see with the Ten of Wands energy, that it's not worth to do this alone anymore. Please speak to me in reference to how this person views Taurus. Please speak to me in reference to how this person views Taurus. How does this person view Taurus? How do they view Taurus at this time? Okay. But even though you're having a difficult time, they also identify that you're standing up for yourself in some way with the Hierophant coming out here. And even though I feel like a lot of you guys aren't getting along right now or the communication is off, some of you guys are not communicating at all. And if you live with each other, the communication could definitely improve, but you're coming out here. So the way that they view you is not putting up with any more nonsense and you're making it all about yourself at this time. For some of you, they think that you're a little selfish, but I think that it's important for you to be selfish right now because you've given them so much of your time. They fail to recognize that. They want someone to continue to feed their ego. If that's what they want, then they can go keep swiping on their internet page or they can continue to follow everybody that they're following, right? But they view you as making things all about yourself right now. And that's good. Tell me more about how Taurus's person views Taurus. Tell me more about how Taurus's person views Taurus. How does Taurus's person view Taurus, please? They feel like you are depressed about this situation, that they really let you down. They feel that you don't want to be bothered with them. And that even if they try to convince you, you may not want to hear what they have to say. It's like you want to be left alone and they identify that. And they just feel like they need to give up as well because you're standing up for yourself here with the Hierophant energy showing up, right? So they view you as, I don't want to play with Taurus. 
because Taurus is going to put me in my place again or I don't want to argue. And I'm not saying that they think you're argumentative. It's just that when you are angry with someone, you know how to choose your words wisely enough to really hit them where it hurts. So sometimes they don't even want to bother because they don't like to hear the truth about themselves, Taurus. Because that's what you do. And as much as people like to call you difficult and say that you're not easy to deal with, that is one of your gifts. Because not everyone knows how to be genuine and not everyone knows how to be honest, but you do, even if it hurts other people's feelings. Tell me more about how this person views Taurus. Tell me more about how this person views Taurus, please. You're always gonna be special to them with the Six of Cups energy because this is an energy of a past connection that they still think about and you are that connection for them. For some reason, they feel like they just can't do it. They feel like they just can't is the energy that I get from them. And it's not that they're giving up, but you're making them have to explain themselves. And for some reason, they feel like they don't want to or that they don't have to, which is why they throw their hands up and decide to walk away. And you deserve more than someone who feels like they don't want to explain themselves because they don't feel like they have to. Very cocky, very arrogant. That's who you deal with, Taurus. Tell me more about how this person views Taurus, please. Tell me more about how this person views Taurus. They feel like right now they're not going to make an attempt, but they still plan on keeping you in their life in some way. They're just trying to figure out right now how they're going to do that. They're trying to be creative on how to approach you. Tell me more about how this person views Taurus. Yeah. They want to talk to you again. They just feel like right now they can't do it. That's what I just keep hearing. I can't do it right now. Right now is not the time to reach out to Taurus. Right now is not the time to make things better. That's what I keep hearing from them. But with the Page of Wands coming out here, this is a message going out. This is the desire that they have in the present moment. They would like to talk to you, but they feel like it's gonna be too challenging and too difficult. So what they do is they let you cool off for a little bit and then they try to come back around because they know you. At least they feel like they do. But you've already figured them out too. So it's like, you're not, making yourself accessible. You know, I feel like this is something you are really done with and they still don't get that through their mind. It's like they've been playing this game for so long with you that they think that they'll pop right back up when they think you're over it and it's gonna be all good. And I don't see you doing that. I don't see you opening the door or opening the message or picking up the phone or entertaining it at all. One more card for the outcome of this situation. One more card for the outcome, please. 
talk to me about the outcome of this situation. Talk to me about the outcome of this situation. Okay, so I don't know how this ends up happening, but there ends up being justice here when it comes to this situation, which of course is very possible, but there's so many ways that this can happen. I feel like they do want peace with you. They just feel like it's a challenge to do that. They would rather deal with someone who will just say yes to everything that they advise or someone who just doesn't stand up for themselves. Like that's the type of people your person likes to get with because they love to easily convince people. You are not easily convinced. I say that almost every reading. I mean, you know how we are. This is not a walk in the park. Taurus is not a walk in the park, all right? That's what they're looking for, though. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you... <laughs> I just feel... If your person wants to be with weak-minded individuals, then that says a lot about them. But it's almost as if that's what they would like to be with. Someone who doesn't have a backbone. And it's so annoying. I just hear like, right now I hear somebody just bragging about what they have or what they got or, you know, um, this person, I feel like, I feel like they talk a lot, okay? The person that you're into and, you know, they entertain energies that also like to run their mouth. Like, I feel, I feel like they're talking to somebody who runs their mouth a lot, you know? I just feel like somebody fronts a lot. Like, whoever they're around, somebody is just fronting, you know? They're around somebody that's really boring too. Somebody bores the hell out of them, you know, and that's why they got this all mixed up with you. Just trying, they're always bored, always chasing the wrong thing, always, you know, going down the wrong path to only verify that they're in the wrong place. I mean, this is, it's ridiculous. It's a very scattered energy, honestly. Just keep doing what you're doing, Taurus. Just keep moving forward. Keep ongoing. We've been talking about leaving a past energy behind. You are on the right path. Keep going. Don't doubt it. I feel like you doubt yourself and you start to miss this person. Open yourself up to new possibilities. Write it down and think about the pros and the cons when it comes to this person. How does this person add to you? Do they take more from you than they add to you? Sometimes some of us need to see it in a journal or on a piece of paper. Some people are just not worth our attention anymore. They're just not. So keep walking. Okay? All right, so that's what I have for you. Thank you so much and have a good day.